Nyanya on the fringes of Abuja and few meters from the city center. The community, like some places in the heart of the city, was attacked by Boko Haram terrorists four years back. On the 14th of April 2014, at about 6.45 a.m., two bombs exploded at the crowded bus station in Nyanya, right here, killing over 88 people and leaving 200 injured. We are here to find out the implications of the resumption of commercial activities back to this spot and also the removal of military barricade just a few meters away. The situation led to the tightening of security in the area. The presence of military checkpoints is one phenomenon many said made life difficult for motorists piling the ever busy Nyanya Kefi Highway. But that is not the take of all. For operators of the multi purpose Nyanya Motor Park, the scene of the e fated 2014 twin bomb blast, the story is different. Actually, Boko Haram, they've been, they've been dead seriously because everywhere you go to, in, particularly in the FCC, we have security measures in between this. So there's no how Boko Haram will come up with any, any of the terminal now. They've been dead. Kudos to the name kudos to the president, and kudos to the Nigerian government for disseminating Boko Haram. We have to turn to the security agency. They are 100% support to the opening the, the, this terminal. So uh, I only want to say thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. But without them, this will not be happening. For commuters, it is a breath of assurance. The security put in place is awesome and it's yielding fruits. I must give kudos to the Nigerian military for their efforts. Everybody is relaxed here. The atmosphere of fear is gone. And everybody is conducting his or her business without fear of molestation from anybody. They have really tried, they have done well. The defense authorities believe that the dark days of insecurity for Nyanya and the country at large are over. Those um, security measures that were put in place when we saw that the, the, the tension was high and that um, these people would infiltrate, these measures were there. As we gradually um, ensure that uh, the threats is reduced, we reduce um, the, the kind of uh, barricade, and the kind of uh, restrictions we give to uh, those who are going about their, their, their businesses from what we have put on the ground. We deny the freedom of uh, action. For residents of Abuja, the Nyanya Axis and the entire country, the war against insurgency is in its final stages as the Nigerian military has successfully crippled the group. Their last oaths have been taken and various support fronts decimated.